So, last video, or one of my last videos, I did a review on two of the solid clones, solid fragrances from Fulton and Rark. And I also mentioned in that video that I was going to do another review specifically of their liquid fragrances, and that's what this video is about. I have, specifically, two of their discovery sets here. And, uh, I'll open it up. So, there's a few here in each, each package. And, uh, I'm gonna be challenging myself, uh, to, to smell all of them because of course, when you smell a lot of fragrances at once, they kind of get jumbled up, but I'm gonna see if I can distinctly smell all of them and, and give them a nice review. So, in my last video about the fragrances from this company, I did mention that they have, they seem to have a, a sort of focus on more kind of natural, rustic fragrances, which is definitely my style. So, I'll just pull all of them out at once, I guess. And... I'm curious, because the two solid fragrances that I tried were really, really good. I'm curious about how these liquid fragrances will match up. And the thing I like immediately is, uh, if you can see, on the bottle itself, it shows you the notes. So this one specifically is Virginia Cedar and Clary Sage, and it's called Lost Man. So I'll put it on my wrist. and. Uh, yeah, that sage note is immediate. It's it's immediately this very green, sort of woodsy, very kind of rustic sort of smell, but still fresh. And the sage note really just gets stronger as it kind of goes into the skin. That's really nice. That's like a good daytime, like if it's summer and it's really hot and you don't know what to wear, you want to freshen up. It's a good choice. Then, I'm gonna have to spread these out on my skin. I could use paper, but I'd have to rip up a bunch of tiny pieces of paper and I'd just rather do this. This is Devil's Garden, if you could see. And this has three notes. Uh, incense, vetiver, and cardamom. Incense is one of my favorite notes. I'll put some on the other wrist. Okay, so that's really spicy. You get like that cardamom, you get the vetiver. The incense, a kind of mild. It's not like super smoky like uh, Shalimar or anything, but I really like... The cardamom is really nice. Some fragrances say they have cardamom, but then it's too, too faint to even really, you know, see what it smells like. But this is actually really cardamom forward which is nice this is more like an autumn sort of thing devil's garden very atmospheric name this is like i don't know i feel like i would wear this for halloween or something or you know going out picking apples in the orchard you know very kind of autumn reminiscent then the next one is narada which has bergamot rosewood and ginger I guess I'll put this on the back of my hand, but my next option here. Okay, that's extra fresh. That's... That's probably one of the freshest fragrances I've smelled. Prob definitely the ginger is what's coming through. It, it really smells like fresh, you know, like fresh slices of ginger and the bergamot is also very strong. The rosewood is a bit more mild, of course, it's more of a a base note, but this is also this would also be good for the summer, you know, if you want to freshen up and stay fresh. It's very nice. It also, in my opinion, has a little bit kind of fresh linen vibes, uh, which I quite like. The next one is Perpetua. Oh, this is the same as the solid clone that I use. It was also called Perpetua. Atlas Cedar, Neroli, and Amber are the main notes here. And I'm curious if it smells any different than the Solid Clone. It smells pretty much the same. 
Which I mean, I, I'm not surprised, but it's really nice. It's Perpetua is the one I believe they said on the website. It said it's inspired off of somewhere in Oregon, like the Pacific Coast and everything. That's really nice. You get the wood notes. You get kind of the the floral and the rolly notes, the amber. Very pleasant. It's fresh, but it's also warm, so that's kind of a unique mixture. Then the last one from this particular set is Blue Ridge. Uh, sandalwood, sage, and amber. I'm going up the arm this time, so I don't mix up the scents. Okay, that's also very, very fresh. That's it, probably the sage is what's coming out the most from that just true green freshness. And the mixture between the sandalwood and the amber is very unique. It has this kind of tingling warmth counteracted by the sage, which is super fresh. So it's nice. It also has a unique sweetness. I imagine that, I don't know what that would come from, maybe the, the sandalwood, but that's a unique one. I like that one. That's kind of, it almost smells a little bit coastal even though there, there don't seem to be any uh, coastal notes in it, but um, definitely, yeah, definitely like a nice daytime, like, uh, fragrance go going for a picnic or that sort of thing, so very nice. Then, we're moving on to the other set. So, I'll put, I'll put, I'll just take them out as well. So, we're starting with Mahana. Uh, it has coriander, green leaves, and pomelo. So I imagine this is probably going to be a fresh one as well. I'll put this on the back of my arm, I guess. So this, the coriander is also very straightforward, similar to the other one. It's very, so it mixes the spice with the kind of green notes, which is a very kind of uh, unusual thing which also makes it very nice. It has, because green leaves, green notes in general are generally kind of fresh and dewy and natural. Then you got the spiciness of the coriander coming in, kind of counteract that. Then the pomelo, I don't actually know what that is, so I don't know how that, how uh, prominent it is in this particular fragrance, but the coriander and the, the green leaves alone are really nice. They're really, it's smooth, despite that spice that kind of livens it up. It's still kind of a smooth fragrance, which I like. Then, we also have Ramble, which is kind of a cool name. Balsam fir, elemi, and oak moss. So, I'm running out of space to spray these. That's kind of a sweet fragrance. That's That seems sweeter than the others. At the same, I really like it. It's like, I, I, I can imagine myself on a river bank and there's kind of this moss and kind of a cool atmosphere. And I don't know where that sweetness is coming from. It's really nice though. It has also the dryness of the balsam fir to kind of ground, ground the fragrance. That's one of my favorites. I like that one. Ramble. Then. We also have Sterling. This one I tried before, this red one. Uh, tobacco, leather, and vanilla. This is also one of my favorites. Uh, you can get, get an idea from the notes that it's gonna be pretty rustic. Yeah, that, that, the, the mixture of the leather and the vanilla, that's one of my favorite note combinations because the leather is so rustic and dusty and rough but then you got this vanilla, which really smooths it out. It's really nice. It, it does have a really authentic kind of worn leather smell as well. And the tobacco as well gives it a little bit of smokiness, kind of like a, a distant bonfire, which some people don't like that. Kind of, maybe it's too smoky, but I, I, really, I really like it. I think it's very just warm and kind of a cozy sort of uh, fragrance. Then, I don't want to get mixed up here. Um, Matia, salt, geranium, and black amber. So 
Uh, do I have any more space on my arms? I think I have to get some paper. I got some paper. I literally just ripped up some typing paper because that's all I can find. So I'm gonna spray this. I don't have any actual strips that the professional use, uh, the professionals use, so I'll just use this. That's really nice. That's like... So the salt... I, I really like salt notes in general. I think it's really nice and fresh and very reminiscent of the ocean. And it blends really nicely with, well, the geranium and the black amber. It's really nice because the black amber is very smooth. The geranium adds a bit of sweetness. The salt, of course, it's it, its own thing. Uh, very refreshing. Very, it's refreshing yet warm at the same time, which is one of my favorite kind of characteristics of a lot of fragrances. And yeah, it's just nice. That salt note is almost almost creamy, I guess, when mixed with the geranium. Very, very nice. Then I have one more. It's called Kiwa, and it has uh, cedar, fresh, and coastal notes. So I'll put this on this other piece of paper that I have. Yeah, as you would expect, it's extremely fresh. It's... It also has a, a kind of fresh linen. This is the most fresh linen that I've come across so far. Yeah. Like fresh laundry. Fresh... Uh, at the same time, like, you know, the bottle says it has coastal notes, so it has kind of like the distant... the kind of... S the sea mist, the ocean spray. It's very nice. And then... The cedar as well really grounds the whole fragrance and gives it that that solid woody base. It's really nice. So other than that, those are the main fragrances uh, that I have from this these two sets. I have to say, out of all of them, they're all wonderful because they're all very unique actually. A lot of a lot of fragrance brands kind of fall into the rut of just making very similar fragrances, but all of these, I would say, are pretty distinct from each other, which I quite like. And the ones I probably like the most, um, Sterling, like I said, because of that, the leather and the vanilla, which are some of my favorites. But then, what was the other one? I forget. But, yeah, they're all, I'm definitely going to be using these for a while. This I like the size of the samples as well because, you know, this is something you could actually use. It's not going to disappear within a day. So that's another bonus. Anyway, that's all I have to say about these fragrances. My arms are now smelling of like six, I don't know, ten different fragrances. So that's all I have to say about that. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe. Uh, and I make new videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.